Thomas from MetaMask. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Lava Mode. It's a set of security tools uh, for sharing JavaScript apps. It, uh, I'm going to be talking really, really fast, so if you don't catch everything, uh, please come ask me questions later. Uh, 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 so, uh, if you is is anyone here building anything with JavaScript, front end, back end, wallet, DAP, anything? A couple people. Okay. Um, you really need to understand uh, the security situation with JavaScript and dependencies. Uh, recently, there was uh, the BitPay's uh, open source wallet, okay. Uh, a Bitcoin wallet was hacked by its dependencies, and there was a few vulnerable, vulnerable versions of the wallet published, and there was some loss associated with that. Um, okay, so I'm going to be talking about Lava Mode. Lava Mode is a set of security tools for any JavaScript app uh, to mitigate software supply chain risk. We're talking about evil dependencies. Uh, this is uh, it's relevant for any JavaScript app, but it's especially relevant for uh, DAP UIs and wallets. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about an event stream. This is the Copay wallet hack. Uh, it made a big splash when it happened in 2018. Um, uh, essentially, uh, so, so uh, Jackson Palmer, founder of Dogecoin, uh, summed it up very well. Uh, BitPay essentially trusted all the upstream dependencies, the NPM dependencies, uh, and their developers to never inject malicious code into their wallet. Um, so if dependencies can go bad, how can we fix that? Um, there, there's a bunch of discussion around it. Some people said never use dependencies. Uh, I, I think this is kind of terrible because the, the joy of technology is that it builds on technology and we all get to move forward. And it kind of maybe uh, ruins the whole, uh, like, don't people make your own crypto. So uh, dependencies can be nice. Uh, and the other side was audit all dependency always. And of course this is a good idea, but it's not always practical. Especially, let's say you have some potentially loss-causing bug in production and you've got to push a hotfix. Uh, do you have time to audit all the dependencies and how they interact with other dependencies? Uh, hopefully, but maybe not. So, is, is there nothing else that we can do to improve the situation? Uh, so, Mark Miller from Agoric has been working on security and languages for over 30 years. He's been working with JavaScript for over 10 years. Uh, if you've heard of promises, weak maps, strict mode... Um, Miller comments. Uh, you're, you're familiar with some of his work. Here's this great quote, don't add security, remove insecurity. This is referring to object capabilities. Um, said maybe less gracefully, remove everything and then only add what you need to do uh, you know, your, your feature. Because features in the hands of bad guys are basically attack vectors. Uh, so they're working, uh, he's one of the chief scientists at Agora. They're working on secure ECMAScript, also known as SES. And uh, it's basically a, a secure eval statement where you can control what that code has access to, what it evaluates. Um, and it works through frozen intrinsics, so it freezes down like things like objects and arrays. Um, you may not know it, but you can override what a radout map does, and that might uh, ruin your assumptions about what has access to what data. Um, and so the simple simple version of the solution is just to freeze it at runtime so your dependencies or at, at boot so your dependencies can't mess with things. Um, and then also explicit endowments. Like I said, uh, when you do eval, you get to pass in what it has access to. So that might look like uh, you're evaluating module and you pass in just the platform APIs that are relevant. Okay, so Lava Mode builds on top of that. And, um, to provide some runtime protections for bundles. Uh, so you get those basic standards for like object and array. You get uh, per package platform API access controls, and you can protect modules from corrupting each other moving through the dependency graph. And I'm totally out of time. So come ask me about this more. Thanks.